Hey guys, so this is a small Hobby Lobby haul. I was out of town, oh, so sticky. I was out of town visiting some in-laws and um, we found a Tuesday morning and we found a Hobby Lobby, which I have never been to a Hobby Lobby. We don't have any here in New York. Um, and I knew that the paper pads were on sale for 50% off because I had gotten an email. So I went in looking for the small um, mint, that mint fab stack or whatever that everybody's hauling. That's this size, um, you know, the long one, the, um, what is it, four and a half by six and a half, but they didn't have it. It was like a tornado hit that place. There was a lot of paper, um, like racks that were empty. Um, yeah, so I only got these two Christmassy, um, Christmas, like vintagey Christmas paper studio stacks and I didn't realize that the Christmas stuff was 40% off I knew that it was 40% off but I didn't think it applied to the paper stacks because these were in the regular aisle but the guy only gave me 40% off on these so that was a little disappointing so oh, oh. and this um, stuck because I opened them in the car to look at them but anyway so this one is Pine Street Square and I got it because I love that little vintagey um, Sienna and I'll do a quick flip through but this is not a new stack I'm sure you guys have seen it I just like the vintagey look um, I love those Santas and I figured this is a nice size for um, cutting up for pocket letters and for flip books because it's already scaled down so I like that that distressed snowflake look it's okay it's not the greatest pad but you know for the price it was great and this old world winter one oh my gosh got destroyed here but anyway um this one is a six by six and i'll show you quickly some of the pages in it i like that they're like distressed and i love those vintagey santas they're like distressed looking pages and old tiny so I thought those were cute. I'm sure Michael's is going to have a lot of fun stuff, but I wanted to get some of the vintage looking ones that I don't usually find in Michael's and stuff. So that was that one. And then um, the stamps were 50% off. I, I got only this one that says Jesus is the reason for the season. I thought that was cute. Um, they had a, t a whole wall of stamps. It's overwhelming because there's just so many to look at and I don't know, then you, you just don't know what to get. Um, from the Christmas stuff, I only picked up these tiny candy canes. They had tons of like snowflakes and stuff, but it to me didn't seem like anything that majorly different from what Michaels has. So I'll just wait till it's like 70% off at Michaels or something. Um, like it's two weeks to Halloween now and all the Halloween stuff is like 60, 70% off. So anyway, and then I got these tiny little trees. I actually hauled some pink ones last year on clearance. Um, for some ornaments I want to try and the only other regular price thing I got were these tiny glasses that I saw Miss D haul and she said they fit on prima dolls so you know I love these glasses my glasses actually look just like this I have um, black Ray-Bans like you know the regular classic black Ray-Bans that I wear so I love that I'm gonna try putting that on a prima doll then from the clearance stuff they have a ton of clearance I found these little Christmas lights that are clear I figured that would look cute on a project that was $1.43. I found this little two-pack vial of sequins. You can't tell, but these are like an iridescent red. And then these are just some stars. I found these seed beads, perfect for Christmas projects because they're all they're like a mix of different greens, two bucks. Um, and this is like, it must be like, oh, look, it's four ounces. That's huge. I found this Tim Holtz. Um shield charms so it has the little charms and then the little stickers that say hope and love 287 so i thought that was a good find i found one paper pad in the clearance section that i actually liked this was a dollar 80 on clearance craft color i figured um for background and stuff it would be cute um like for flip books for you know just a, a base for something different so $1.80, you can't go wrong. I found these Art C stickers for $1.07. They're just little vintage -y looking birds and um, like stamps. And then did I take two of these? I don't know what I took. Let's see, I found this for 75 cents. 
and they're just the gold reindeers and trim that say Merry Christmas and fa la 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 la. This one was a dollar forty three, but I loved it because of that balloon and the little steampunk gears. So I thought that was cute for some ATCs. I found this one um, that's religious and has that faith and just a few good ones that I thought I could use on some Christmas projects. And then I picked up two of these sheets. They were actually 89 cents um, and they're the clear stickers and they have like gold foiling. And they were just really cute. So I picked up two of those for 89 cents. You can't go wrong. And then the last two things I found were this. This is, um, I don't know what this is, but the mold is actually silicone. So I figured I could use it for resin pieces. And I got it because it has these little steampunk gears. And then I like the little wings and the keys. It was only $3.95. I guess it's for some kid's toy um, where you melt some kind of colorful stuff, I guess. Uh, fuse works. But I'm sure this will work with resin. So I picked that up. And the last thing I found was this Frame Lights um, Flip It's. I don't have any of these kind of card um, dies. You know, I hope this fits in my regular big kick. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> anyway, it makes the flippy kind of um, uh, card that has that circle punch out in the middle. And it was $30 on clearance for $10.79. I thought that was a good deal. So I picked that up. Um, and I'm curious to give it a try. I hope, um, like I said, I hope it works in the big kick. Mm. Yeah, it says it's compatible with big kick and big shine. Okay, so that's good. So yeah, that's everything I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I wasn't too impressed because the stuff that um, I've seen online that I wanted to pick up, they actually didn't have it. So... Whatever. I'm glad I got to go. It was a new experience. And how often am I out of town and I get to try new stores, right? So that's everything that I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.